Hello everyone. I decided to do a follow-up of my first week, 10,000 steps a day. I'm not going to say it was easy, um, but not really hard either. Um, just can't walk long, but you can walk often. Um, so some interesting things uh, have already happened. Uh, I'm not any more sore than I would be normally, meaning my back and hips and all that. I'd say my feet um, definitely, uh, you know, took some extra wear and tear, and I finally got a, uh, a good pair of uh, running shoes, which I think is going to help. I've only got two walks uh, on there. I've got a set of New Balance uh, shoes, got lots of extra cushion in them, so, uh, you know, I've noticed immediately that uh, definitely... Uh, uh, a big improvement for the uh, the comfort level of, of the after the walk not so much during but uh, anyway so um, gonna share the results uh, so when I started out uh, I was uh, 366 pounds um, weighed myself yesterday which was the, the first week I'm not sure if you can see that or not but 360 pounds so six pound weight loss uh, and, and I'm not after a particular result uh, as far as weight uh, loss obviously I would want to, to weigh less but uh, you know I just want to feel better just want to be fitter feel better and 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 know mentally that I'm doing the uh, the right things to uh, to maybe be here a little longer so um, just going to share the data. Um, seven days in a row, over 10,000 steps. Um, my calories burned um, for activity, not you know all the other stuff, but uh, says on the uh, the fitness app for the uh, the iPhone, um, 11,738 calories burned for the uh, for the week. Um, that uh, was 88,647 steps. Uh, which is 65 kilometers or about uh, 40 and a half miles. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you know, I, I think this is sustainable, which is why I chose walking. And, uh, you know, as my fitness level uh, increases, maybe I'll, you know, do some sporting activities or some other training. But, uh, um most interesting thing I would say that I've noticed so um, it took me a few days before I could do uh, around my you know my, my crescent um, it's about 1.1 something kilometers uh, so it took a few days before honestly I could even do two two uh, two laps and uh, I didn't measure my first uh, few days my uh, the time it took um, but then I found on the Apple watch there is a way that you can you know time your stuff and keeps track of everything so interesting when I did so by I think it was like the third or fourth day I was able to do a couple of, uh, of laps around and it took me so that's you know 2.2 kilometers uh, took me roughly I believe 39 minutes so obviously not very fast uh, in fact that's uh, significantly slow slow enough that uh, <laughs> uh, I actually was passed um, on my second lap because I, you know, I was probably sucking some pretty good wind um, by a gentleman I'm guessing somewhere in his 80s <laughs> with a walker <laughs> and, and I, I kid you not uh, legitimately um, this guy was the first prototype uh, for the, the zombies in The Walking Dead. I'm telling you, man, he, he looked, he was like a skeleton, but man, he could motor. <laughs> anyway, uh, 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 but this morning, uh, I went for a uh, three um, laps around, which is 3.3 kilometers, and it took me 37 minutes. Amazing. Uh, so already, uh, you know, just one week fitness level is uh, is much better. So I'm happy. Uh, we'll uh, continue to uh, 
to maybe do a weekly update. Uh, I do have a, a good set of medical scales uh, on order. I was hoping to get them this week, but uh, when I do, I'll, uh, I'll uh, start uh, tracking the weight, maybe even do a video on that uh, if anyone's interested. So anyway, enjoy your weekend and uh, take care, everyone.